Welcome to episode two. This is the series that I'm documenting from zero to hopefully 10K per month with this brand new agency. Now, if you haven't checked out the first video, then click the first link in the description. That will take you to episode one. But a little bit of background, I've been in the agency space for about five years now. And throughout that time, I've done coaching, consulting, and obviously running my digital marketing agency, mainly in the real estate industry in Australia and the US, where I was able to scale it to 40 per month and this is the series that I'm going to take you completely behind the scenes starting a brand new agency what it takes doing the outreach and doing everything live with you so you can follow along that being said let's get right into this episode so just going through a recap of what we've actually done so far we've chosen the niche we've done some market research we understand how they get clients and leads we understand that the biggest problems that they are facing we also know what keeps them up at night you know why they obviously use these lead generation sources uh, what they like and dislike about these services sorry if you can hear the birds in the background the margins and obviously we've got the target audience we've got the offer created um, and we've obviously got the business name all done so this is kind of what we need to tick off and in today's video we're going to be obviously building out the vsl getting the video scripted filmed and obviously edited i'll be doing that behind the scenes and you know hopefully some go high level systems built so let's get right into it i do already have a high level account i've just created a new sub account from my account and this is kind of what it looks like if you guys don't know go high level it's an agency software that i use i think it's fantastic just purely because it, everything's in one place that's the main reason i like it there are a lot of features but you don't need to go down that rabbit hole especially when you're starting out so as you got the dashboard, you'll have the conversations. So this is where all of, you know, people texting you and emailing, everything will go pretty much in here and you can respond to people from this section as well. You've got your calendar, you've got your contacts. So as leads come in and everything, they'll be pretty much, they'll just come through here. Um, the opportunity section, I have built uh, this out. So basically we've got new lead, lead contacted, in conversation, ghosted, ghosted, uh, post lead nurture, scheduled call, confirmed call, cancelled, no show, not ready, follow up call, booked, new client or unqualified. You can kind of set this up however you, however you like really, um, whatever works for you. Obviously payments, we don't need to worry about that. Marketing, don't really need to worry about that. So um, yeah, like it's social media planning. So, you know, you can obviously schedule your content here, um, different templates make, make things look really, really nice. Um, automations. So this is pretty much where all of our workflows will be. I'm going to take you through everything and build this out with you guys. Um, your sites, so funnels, websites, forms, whatever it is. So we'll go through that and that's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah. So there's just a bunch of stuff, reputation management, memberships, you know, you can actually have a course or, you know, videos on here and people can sign up and, and go through that. So maybe you're providing, uh, not just leads, but you're training them on sales. Maybe you have a sales program in here as well. You can have people create their own unique login and, and, and have it. Uh, have a course hosted on go high level as well so it's yeah there's there's a lot of functions to this but yeah what we're going to be doing now is building out a vsl now this is something that's going to take really not long because i don't believe that you need to get fancy or complicated i'm going to kind of run you through sort of what things look like so if we create something new you're going to be able to go from blank and this is what we're going to be doing or from templates so let me just show you what some templates look like if we just click continue here you're going to see all of the templates come up right you've got like look at this SaaS sales strategic coaching like there's a bunch you know and you can kind of um go through if it's a resource download lead capture newsletter whatever it is right like you can kind of see and um actually look at a preview right you can see what it actually looks like here and it's pretty much just copy and paste. It's super, super easy to, to build out. But yeah, there's there's a lot of different options that you have here. You know, different industries. So it's creative, legal, insurance, health and fitness, whatever sort of niche you're in, uh, real estate, marketing agency stuff. So like, look, look at all these templates. 
you know, you got you got a bunch that you can really choose from. Um, and, and this is kind of overwhelming, right? Because you're thinking, okay, which one's going to work best for me? I like to keep things simple. Like you, this looks nice, but you don't, you definitely don't need this. It looks nice, but is it needed? No. Uh, so let me take you through what I would do. It's just a simple one pager. We've got our headline and a video, like literally that simple. Uh, let me start that now. So I'm going to, I'd go from blank, create. Okay, let's go. I'm going to name it landscaping solutions. Now we say this isn't my niche, but I'm not going to reveal my niche. Um, all right. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding a new step name for this page, VSL page, for example, slash VSL create funnel step. And we're going to be doing three different steps here and I'm going to be building it out with you as you can see, I'm going to do another funnel step. We're going to be doing booking page. So this is where our calendar is going to be. And we're going to have to need, we're going to need to set up a calendar before we finish building out this page. Otherwise it won't work. So we'll do that as well, but let, let's do one thing at a time. Super raw, obviously this video, uh, because we're going to be doing it together and you know, let, let me know some feedback down below. Like if you want me to skip some steps or you like this sort of raw footage and less, less edited or just let me know, always open to feedback and then con confirm. All right. So that's done. Let's go to the VSL page create from blank. Very, very simple. All right. And I'm going to show you just how simple this actually is to build. So obviously it's loading. You can see here, there's a lot of different buttons here and there'll be just drag and drop sort of thing. So we're going to just do full width, right? This is where I would add your, uh, your, 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 your logo. So you're going to just click here. You're obviously going to click image and this is where you're going to paste your logo, but let's just leave that for now. We can change the size. Um, we can kind of change the size there and we can kind of play with the margins as well. So sorry for the neighbor's dogs in the background, if you can hear that. Um, and then obviously this one is, we're going to be doing headline. So let me just take you through this real quick, right? So obviously you've got headlines, sub headline, paragraphs, bullet points, buttons, forms, uh, videos, you can do some custom code. You can have your calendar here, you know, your reviews, countdown timers. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. And I, I would just suggest having a look or playing around with it, but it's not that complicated in all honesty. So we've got our headline. And then after our headline, I would obviously have our VSL video. And then under that, I would have our button, right? And that's it. This is how I do my landing pages. Like it's really this simple. That's it. And then the headline is pretty much our offer, right? So obviously I haven't written like a one sentence, one line sort of offer here. Let me just show you like an example. All right. Um, landscaping business owners, if I can spell. I should do another headline. Sorry, I shouldn't have done it like that. We're going to make this smaller. We'll change it up soon, but it could be simple like this because again, we're not really driving traffic to this, right? So like, this is just to give them an overview of, of what it is that we do. And I'm going to run ads for this. So we're going to be generating leads through a lead form. And then obviously a certain percentage, probably around 30 to 40% of people will book a call using this. So we don't really need to overcomplicate it, uh, here. So we could simply say the system, I always like to make it sure each the start of each word is a capital uh, letter. The system booking, you know, and we can just change this five to six more jobs every month in 2024. Like literally this simple, like that's it. 
let me just make this smaller. So you can play around with the font size here and you can look on mobile and, and see what it's like um, as well. And then obviously you can see the font you can see the font too. I like to use this font, just, I don't know, I'm just a sucker for it. I, I, I like it rather than your regu regular sort of font. So just gonna change that, make sure it is the exact same. That's great. Perfect, that's it. All right, now let's go, we'll obviously put the logo in shortly and we'll see upload the video. Later, you can do this through YouTube. Wistia, Wistia always looks better. There is, you can get a free account. You can get up to like 10 videos for free. So that's what I'd recommend just because it does look nicer than a YouTube URL link. Anyway, uh, the button, very, very simple. Uh, we can just do the same font, right? I always like to keep it the exact same throughout, very consistent. Um, and then obviously click to sign up. We can just do literally schedule call. All right, um, and then we'll obviously go next step um, to the next page. That will just go to the next page, right? Um, we'll go advanced, let's change this color because I don't want green. Yeah, I mean, we can kind of change it, black, purple, blue. We can kind of customize it if, if you want. Um, you know, I mean, green's all right, but yeah, it kind of depends on what it is that that you want. Um, blue, let's just go with blue. And I want to change the font to make it um, to make it bold because yeah, I, I don't semi bold. There we go. That's better. And we can make the button bigger too because like to me that's that's just too small so we can text normal no effect you know you can obviously do glow you can do rocking you know you can bounce it um but yeah i just do no effect so don't worry about that no border don't worry um font size obviously the the we'll just do a bigger button and that's it. Now, you always want to make sure you're saving, right? You always want to be clicking save. I probably should have saved it before this. Um, yeah, you always want to make sure it saves. Otherwise, yeah, you're screwed. Um, but then you want to have a look on mobile, right? You want it to really look good on mobile because most people are going to be on mobile. So like, look, I want this smaller, right? So my font size is going to actually be smaller because I want it on and I just spelled this wrong, like, don't know how I didn't pick that up sooner. Anyway, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> um, this is okay. Um, we could have it on two lines, but let's just see. So you kind of, like the whole th process here, you're kind of just seeing how everything looks. And if this is going to be smaller on two lines, I would definitely make this smaller as well because you don't want it as big, all right? So yeah, something like that. Obviously, we'll change this. We'll get that done. You can change the button. The size is just too big, all right? See? So like if I hadn't have saved that, I don't know what happened there. Um, it wouldn't have saved. But anyway, let's just go back into it. Now we need to obviously change the button size here, which we're going to... See, okay, so it didn't actually save. You you see what I mean? All right, let's just go back, change that quickly. All right, done there. Oh, I mean, that's good. We can just leave it like that. Schedule, well, not too much smaller because I mean, it's not that bad. It's, it's all right. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then obviously we're gonna do this. Um, shortly, but we're going to save that because we're on the mobile version now. So that's save. We'll do this later. We don't need to worry about that now. All right, and that's that's really it. So let's go ahead and add the logo. All right, so let's put our logo in. All we're going to do is simply go up here. Oh, hold on. I've made a mistake here because I can't see this 
now. Okay, we're gonna have to change that later, but okay, so we go here. And all we need to do is click here. Double click, there you go. All right, that's all we need to do. And now we're just gonna change this um, to make it fit and look better, I guess. Uh, now, how we also do this is like I was just showing you before, we go here. So I don't want like a huge marginal difference here because why do we need that? Like the less the better. Um, so we got zero there. We got some here so we can just move that up there. And we've obviously got some here so we don't need that. See, that looks a lot better now. Um, so obviously with that color scheme, I'm going to change the color. I should be able to change the color of the button. Um, so I can add a custom one here and I want it to be this color. There we go, okay. Um, now I'm also going to change the font of this to a deep, deep, deep blue. It's going to probably look pretty black anyway. Let me just do that here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And obviously if you've got the color, you can just copy and paste the, the code for it. Super simple to do, you know. Paste, add color, we're good. So I mean, it looks black, so I won't even be, I won't bother. Um, there, but there you go, right? Like you can see, this is how easy it is. And obviously you, you can have your, you know, you can have your offer here nine times out of 10 when I'm building VSLs and landing pages, you're going to have your offer. We will do X in X amount of time without Y, for example, right? Or we're gonna be doing X for you in, X amount of time, all your money back guaranteed, plus whatever your offer is going to be. Um, but this, obviously, yeah, this is just to show you that this will still work. Now, you might think that this is ugly and not sophisticated, and yeah, it's not sophisticated. It's as simple as it gets, right? Like it's taken, what, five, 10 minutes to actually build this out, um, and this is gonna work. And this is just to show you guys that this is really all you actually need. Um, so, okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to go to the next step now. And we're going to do the, um, I'm going to do the confirmation page just before. I always like to add a video um, as well. So, again, we're going to do create blank. I do have one kind of built out, but it's, yeah, pretty straightforward. One column, obviously that's going to be your headline. I want to do another headline um here and then have a video that's it that is going to be your confirmation page like literally this is this is all it is right so let's go ahead and write this now i'm going to simply say is not confirmed and I'm going to make sure that this is actually in red. So people are like, okay, I need to do something here. That's good. Fantastic. Step one. Watch the... Let's go this. Super, super simple like this, that's all we need. Now I wanna obviously again, the padding. Make this, I mean look, you can obviously change heading size and all that kind of stuff here, but yeah. And that's it. And I'm gonna take you through the script of the video as well. We're gonna film it and then we're gonna do, you know, we're actually gonna put it here. All right, so now that's done, let's go and create the calendar. I'm going to create one from scratch because that's all that's gonna be here, right? That's all we're gonna put on this page. Like I'll show you. 
it's as simple as this. We're going to do full width. We're going to do one column. We're going to add a headline, right? And literally book a call below. That's it. We're going to add and we're going to do calendar. That's it. And then obviously we're going to select the calendar um, that we build. All right, so let's go ahead and build that. Let's just save that now. You can see how easy this is, guys. Like most people on YouTube and that overcomplicate this process, but I'm trying to show how easy and simple this is because you don't need something to look fancy. Just get it out and start. Like that's the whole point of this series. It doesn't matter if it's ugly. All right, so obviously this is the calendar page. I don't have anything scheduled. We're gonna go calendar settings because this is my calendar for um, my actual agency. I have already created it, but you know, let's just create something new for you guys for this, you know, video. Um, I might have to blur a couple of things out here just because it does have my actual calendar, but let's just create a calendar. We're just gonna do a simple um, service calendar here. Um, and we're going to be doing, let's call it landscape solutions. You will have to add a team member and I can take you through that later if, if you want as well, but you'll just do it in my staff. You'll just add yourself, um, there, um, and you'll have to add your zoom account as well. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. Uh, service duration, we're going to be doing 45 minutes. Uh, booking, you'll obviously add your time zone. Let's just go with that. Doesn't really matter. Name it. Confirm. Here we go here. That's what it's sort of looking like. We can edit this. All right. You can upload your logo if you'd like. Landscape solutions, you can have your offer. So maybe I just put let's just copy and paste this. Copy, we'll paste that. And you can put whatever you want here. Um, in my opinion, I would actually do your offer. Like whatever you like, whatever your offer is, put that here. Because I'm going to show you what it looks like soon. So here, appointment name. Yep. And then uh, we want to obviously increase show up rate. So we want to put your offer here. Maybe it's um, guaranteed jobs. And I spell guaranteed wrong because I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Obviously, you're going to add yourself as the team member. That's great. You're going to be able to create uh, whatever color you want. So that's totally fine. Availability, you'll have um, that here. You can obviously do that. Make sure it's intervals of 15 minutes. Service duration, obviously 45 minute call. Um, scheduling notice, I would just do one day. And date range, no, no more than four days. So that's totally fine. Um, forms, this is something that I will have to take you through. Um, because you want to create a form and I'll actually, you know, show you how to do that. You can use Calendly, right? Some of you probably will, but I think if you're using high level, use the high level calendar. It just syncs so much better and it's just a lot easier. You have less issues. Um, so yeah, the form is very, very simple, but I'm going to take you through that, uh, in a second. And you can obviously just, um, up, upload whatever form you have um, here, like you can see, right? Obviously this is just name, email, phone number, so that's fine for the sake of this video, but the drop down will show you other forms that you can create and I'm gonna take you through 
how to do that. Notifications, yeah, you, you can just have a look. You don't have to really worry about anything there. So let's just go save and we're going to actually put this on the calendar. Now, if you do want, obviously, um, to do a form, you just go under sites and you can see here, you just do a form builder. Um, and then obviously you have your different forms here. This is the one for my actual business. So I have created one and you just add form and then you can just, you know, add some questions that <clears throat> you want. It's very, very straightforward. Back to the actual funnel. All right. Now, here we go. Landscape solutions. We got the booking page. Now let's edit this and let's actually add our calendar. So let's add our calendar here. We can just go here and we can have landscape solutions. So that's done. There we go. Then this is why it's important to have your offer here. We literally just save that. And obviously we're going to add a domain and everything as well, which I've already done, but it is super, super simple to do. Um, obviously once you buy the domain on uh, GoDaddy, I like GoDaddy, you can use other, you know, there are other obviously options out there, but I've always used GoDaddy just because it's super easy to connect. Save that. <clears throat> Let's just go back. And then that's it. We've literally done the VSL, the booking page and the confirmation page within what, 20 minutes? Like, and this is going through it step by step. Like it doesn't take long at all. Um, you can kind of preview it, see what it looks like. Here we go. And then obviously the next page, we can preview that to the actual calendar page. <clears throat> Book a call below. You can see here, we've got the times available, select, you've got the questions and there you go. That's that. Um, and then we got the confirmation page. So the reason I do this is because this just increases your booking rate and your, this just increases your show up rate. Sorry. That's, that's all it is. Okay. Um, so I'll take you through that there, but that's it. One, two, three, you're finished. That's it. That's how you create a VSL. Okay. So the next step is to actually script out and write this video. Okay. Um, so in one of my previous videos, I have got like a full breakdown of a VSL script and the process behind it. And I have shared that. So I'm going to model that and then kind of use that as a guide. Obviously don't have results, not super, super important. Obviously it does help. Um, but this is just going to be a quick two to three minute video. I would say just going through what it is that we really do. Um, some people won't watch it. So uh, yeah, obviously once we get results, we're going to obviously do a new video and kind of make it look a little bit better. But for now, we'll just keep it super, super simple. So we can go ahead and start writing that. All right. So now I'm going to write the VSL. I have gone through this in another YouTube video. So please go ahead and look at that on my channel. I'm not going to go through this whole document. Um, now I'm just going to write it, but this is kind of what I'm basing it from. So if you do want a more in-depth on just this document, I do have like a 15 minute video on that on my channel. Uh, so go ahead and look at that. So, but basically all the VSL is, is similar to the ad framework. We're calling out the audience. We're demanding attention. We're shining a light on the problem, call to action, uh, providing a solution, credentials, benefits, and social proof. Obviously you can add some social proof, um, after you demand attention as well, and then you can do it again at the end, but kind of this, this 10 step framework that we're going to be following. But since we don't have results, I'm going to keep this like under two minutes. Um, so yeah, this is just an example for the real estate niche as well. But anyway, that's not what we're going to be going through, um, in this video. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay. So obviously calling out your audience, if you are a landscape business owner, very simple. What are they struggling with? Obviously we've spoken about this before, right? They're tired of wasting time on unqualified leads. They don't have a good system. They're buying expensive leads from Hopevisor, Thumbtack, Angie's List, and all that kind of stuff, right? So this is what we're going to mention. If you're a landscape business owner, then say goodbye to BS leads 
from, and then we can name it <clears throat> Home Advisor and Thumbtack and say hello to pre qualified, pre vetted, ready to go appointments in your calendar. All right, so we've captured their attention. And I don't really care about spelling right now. Okay. Look. Now, now we obviously, I want to touch on the front pain point because they've probably heard this before, right? So, you know, I want to address that. Look, I get it. You are seeing an influx of fly-by-night agencies with bold claims and promises only to under deliver right because that's another problem most of these agencies are not delivering results stop relying on agencies and lead service providers and let us come into your business, build the entire system out for you, and let us handle, I don't know if I want to repeat myself, um, each inquiry, so you only speak with pre-qualified people ready to book with you. So there we go. That's a good start. Don't really care about this inquiry. Not E. Jesus. The way people are finding your business and choosing who to work with is changing. You need to own the traffic and systems to get clients into your business consistently. All right. So you can see how simple it is, right? It's kind of following that framework that we've gone through here, but more of a simplified version because you don't need, you don't need something complicated. If you don't, you'll always be at the mercy of these third party direct directories and agencies who quite frankly, don't care about your business, only the money you pay them. See how I'm really hitting on the pain points here? Like, I'm not going super in depth, but like, you know, that's what the f call's for. But they understand, they'll, they'll read, th they'll watch this and read this and be like, huh, he gets me. He understands exactly how I'm feeling, right? Now I want to talk about authority and trust because I think it's important to establish them as the authority um, and they need to obviously understand that. Um, so we can say the way to win online, this on the way to win online is where you're able to create an online presence where not only it establishes both authority and trust, but create something like more relatable. Okay. Here we go. It's a good question to ask. <clears throat> I 
And I can really emphasize that every single time. All right. Um, we're almost finished here. Now, I obviously want to reiterate what we're going to be doing for them. Okay. So here's my offer to you. We will build your entire marketing system in-house in the next 60 days so you aren't reliant on home advisor again really touching on these pain points and i'm just like butchering this spelling like it's just crazy it doesn't matter Or agency promising you leads that's good ever again you will own the traffic your online presence and have complete independence from the platforms that control your every move while being able to turn the tap on and off when you need more work that's exactly it now just a simple call to action so if that sounds interesting click the schedule call button below fill in your details and answer the questions on the form so we can understand where you are at and how we can help you best. That is literally my VSL script. It's going to be about two to three minutes. This is it. It's all you need. Especially when you're starting out, it's not going to be super long. It's not going to be six, seven, eight minutes long. You're not going to be able to share anything with them. You're not going to be able to show results because you don't have them. This is all you need. This is it. And obviously I've just changed this, but yeah, I'll just change this to, you know, my thing. Now, obviously we need a thank you one. Uh, that's going to be even easier. Let's go through that. Thank you video. Let's just go through that now super super simple hey thanks so much for booking in your call with us i'm very excited to be speaking with you and seeing real quick you want to obviously do some general housekeeping you would have been emailed and sent an SMS with the link to the call. I need you. This is going to really increase our show rate. Don't overthink this. This is just super simple, right? We don't really need to. All right, whatever. Um, just some housekeeping. Please make sure you aren't driving on your mobile or in a shopping mall. We will be sharing our screen with you 
so it's important you are on a computer. I totally understand if something comes up, simply text me and we can reschedule our call together. If we begin our call and you are driving or on a mobile phone, we will reschedule you no exceptions. There we go. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, just some general housekeeping, right? This is super, super important because people do watch this and sometimes they will show up on their, you know, on their phone or whatever it is. So you need to obviously um, do everything that you can to avoid that from happening. So that's what this video is for. Again, if you do need to change the booking time, simply email or text, we understand. Again, really excited to speak with you. Make sure to check spam or junk as sometimes the link to all right that's it now basically we're ready to film this and then put them on the pages so that's what i'm going to do just make sure you're in a nice looking sort of area when you do this um, just make sure it looks professional you don't really need anything else just I just film it on my iPhone um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then obviously upload that in a minute the other thing too I was going to uh, in this video do the whole go high level systems and that but this video is like already pushing 45 minutes maybe it's even an hour long now so I'm not gonna do that I'm going to do that in a different video we're gonna be obviously going through the email sequences text messages follow-ups and, and really diving deep into the high-level um, systems and getting that built out so let's um, go ahead and film that and then come back soon all right we are back we've just finished filming the VSL and the thank you for the videos now I do edit everything in Final Cut Pro um, so if you want to know the software that I use, I just use Final Cut Pro. I think Final Cut and Premiere Pro are the two leading um, video editing softwares out there. But honestly, you don't need anything crazy. You don't need to pay for anything. All you need to do is just chop it up and then save it and then download it. It really is that simple um, to do. So now we've got that, let's actually upload them to the landing page so you can kind of see what that would look like. So I'm just going to jump in here. I'm just going to make myself smaller. All right. We're going to edit this. Okay. All right. Here we go, we click that little settings button. And now you've got a couple of different options here. You can do from YouTube and just copy and paste the link, um, or you can do Wistia. And Wistia is the one that I use for it. So let's open Wistia. Let's log in. I don't want to show, hopefully it's, hopefully it's not named the industry that I'm in. All right. So we're in Wistia now. We'll just go to my folder. You can get, uh, you can get this completely for free and you get about 10 videos that you can upload. So that's all you'll need. They just look better. You can use YouTube, but yeah, this is just, um, this is just nicer. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to share. We're going to click that little link here. We're going to go copy link and we're gonna paste the video link 
here. And that's it. I'm going to save it. Make sure it's full width. And we can auto play this. So as soon as someone comes on the page, you can auto play. Make sure we save that again. I'm not going to do this. You can do this in your own time. And that's it, guys. That's that's literally as easy as it is. It. That you um you had t -t today, Junior. And that is it. That's how easy it actually is. So let me just ignore this, so you can see what it looks like. That's it. There you go. All right. Now the same thing with the confirmation one, the thank you. So we're going to edit, go back to the video. We're going to go thanks. We're going to go share, copy link. Going to go with Stia. And we're going to paste that there and save. Again, you can do this on the left-hand side as you wish. And that's it. That's it, guys. Like, you can see how it works here. You won't be able to hear it just because I've got my microphone plugged in, so it won't actually play. But that's it. It's as simple as that. So what we're going to be doing in the next series, in the next video, I, I don't know how I'm going to combine this. Um, we're going to be building out the Go High Level systems because I know this video is probably going to be about 40 minutes to an hour already. So I didn't want to make it too long. Um, this could be a video in of itself. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to be doing some outreach. And I'm going to be actually sharing everything with you live and then um, running some ads as well. So guys, that is it for episode two of this series. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want one-on-one -on -one help, then please feel free to book a call using the first link in the description. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.